Hey you guys, um, I wanted to make this video for you today because there's something on my heart that's heavy that I just want to talk to you guys about. And you know, a lot of you, you're on your 30 day, 60, 90 day challenge, or you're on some sort of journey, health and fitness journey. And if you're on one of my personal challenges, you know that I have told you about pre-planning your meals, pre-packing your meals, and how, how vital that is to the success okay, to your success, to reaching your goals. You guys, it is huge. And you know that I believe in that wholeheartedly. Well, the one thing that I love about being a beach body coach is because I am constantly learning and growing on my own personal journey every single day. And when I come across and I stumble across something that I just think is an amazing, you know, aha moment, as they say, for me, then I want to share it for you guys. And this week, I had um, stumbled upon a video from another coach, and she was saying a lot of the same things that I always say to you guys, but the way that she brought it out was just pretty amazing to me, and I want to bring it out to you guys. So I ask you just to take a few minutes to listen to this, let it sink in, and really, really utilize it, because I feel like planning is huge. This is one of the one key things that is going to either help you to succeed or it's going to, the lack of planning is going to make you fail. And nobody wants that, okay? You didn't come here, you haven't worked this hard to fall back now. So here we go. All right, first I want you to think about college. If you've ever been to college, if you've ever thought about going to college, you think about what you want to do. What do you want to go and spend all those hours and all that money on learning things? You know, what is it that you want to go to college for? You would never walk onto a college campus and just go in one day and just say, sign me up, here's my money, put me in whatever, I don't care, you know, I'm just happy to be here, um, just throw me into a class and I'm good. You would never do that. You would never, ever do that. You would have a plan. You would want to know what you want to do, what you want your degree in, right? You know, you would never, ever, ever just go up somewhere and, you know, um, join a company and just be like, you know, I don't know what you guys are about. I don't know what you do, but I just want to be here. I just want to work here. Just whatever. Just put me into any position that you want to, you know, put me in. Give me any pay salary that you want. I really don't care how much money I make. Um... You know, I really don't care how effective I am. Put me in a corner somewhere. It really doesn't matter. Um, you know, I just drove by today and decided that I wanted to come in. You know, you wouldn't do that. When you go out to put an application in for a job, you really think through, you know, is this job one going to pay me enough? I mean, you're, you're going to ask yourself quite a few questions, and then you're going to set a plan in place for yourself. Okay, a plan. So let's break down the plan because you've already come to me, okay, and you've already said, I'm sick and tired of this body. I don't recognize it. This is not the body that I want. All right, I'm not happy here. Let's change it. You've already set in place. I'm going to start eating healthier. I'm going to start adding Shakeology into my life because I care about the nutrition that my body is getting. And I don't want to put things in it that are not good for it. You've already said, give me a fitness program. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to earn my body. I don't want to sit on the couch and get a quick fix that's going to damage my insides. I'm all in. Okay? So now, what is your plan from here? Let's spell it out. P. Plot. Plot. You've gotten this far. Let's plot it out. Plot what you're going to eat every single day. Plot it out. Don't leave it to just, you know, well, if I'm at home, I know I've got some good stuff in the fridge. Don't do that. Think about your day. Am I going to be at work today for lunch? If so, plan what you're going to bring. Pre-pack it the night before, okay? Or do I have to run errands and maybe I'm going to be gone for longer than two to three hours? Plan, uh, plan to bring a pre-packed snack with you. Okay, plan it. Um, plan your workouts. Always. That's huge. You have a program. You're following it. That's perfect. Okay, on there it says, day one, do this. Day two, do this. That's great. But write it down. Go one step further because that piece of paper can say whatever it's going to say all day long. But maybe your day is super busy. So 
write down day one I'm supposed to do shoulders, you know, whatever the case may be for your workout. And I'm saying that because I'm on the body beef. So maybe today I'm supposed to do, you know, do body beef. Well, I'm going to show you really quickly how I add that into my calendar so that I see, up oh, today i got to do it. Not only do I see it, but block out a time, okay? So first, I want to show you this. And I show this to my 10-day calendars, all right? I write down on one calendar what I'm going to eat, okay? So I've got my breakfast, my snack, my lunch, my snack, and my dinner every single day. Not only does this help me stay on track, because I'm the type of person... I don't love cooking. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like it at all. Some days I get in the mood, so maybe I can't say it all. All right? But if I already have written down what I'm supposed to cook, it's awesome because I know that if I'm going to be at school with the girls, Michaela has a volleyball game or something like that, I'm going to put it in the crock pot or I'm going to prepare early so that I don't have to rush home and do it too late, you know? Or I'm going to go ahead and have my prep day on Monday and Wednesday you know, so that I can get everything prepared or Monday and Thursday for the week. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cook meat, and I'm going to have it prepared. Like last night, I made double the amount of baked chicken so that I can have it for salad, so I can have it for dinner. You know, um, that saves me big time. So pre-plan, plot out what you're going to cook, what your meals are, what you're going to have for each and every meal and each and every snack. The next thing that I want to show you is, you know, I have um, a little business side, and I also have this right here. So I'm going to have my body beats workout. I put exactly what I'm going to do. This is my rest day, but I want to go up to the gym, and I want to do um, some spin. So I put bike down there, okay? I put everything that I have to do. I have all my, this is my daily to-do list, guys. My daily to-do list. And... You can even put a time beside it, and that's what I recommend you do. So if you know that you have to wake up at 5 a.m. and fit your workout in or it's not going to get done, then wake up at 5 a.m., put it on your schedule, 5 a.m., workout. If you know that you're going to fit it in at night, then put it in, pencil it in. If you're going to have to fit it in during the day, pencil it in. Make it like an agenda. Plot it out, all right? Plot out your success and then follow it, okay? That brings me to the next one. L, list. Make a list. Make a grocery list. Go through your pantry. Go through your refrigerator, your freezer. See what you have. Once you've written your list for groceries, all right, this is going to keep you on track. Well, once you've written your list for the week of what you're going to eat, then you write your list of groceries because then you see what you need. You see what's on that list of foods. Okay, I'm going to eat this, 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 and that. I already have this in the pantry, so I only need these few items, okay? So write it down, make your list of foods, go to the grocery store. That way, if it's already on your list, this is what we're having tonight, you don't come home and say, man, we're totally out of chicken. I didn't know that. I had planned to cook such and such tonight. And then you guys are like, it's late anyways, let's get some pizza. You don't want that to happen. So list out your groceries. Um, so that you know that you can plan for success and stick to your plot and that you're going to have everything that you need. The next one is action. Take action. Follow through. If you take the time to sit down, write a plot out, write your list, go grocery shopping, then follow through, you guys. Follow through. You are so worth it. Take the action that is required to make sure that you stay on track that you are committed to your exercise, that you're committed to you. You know that your body, you guys, is the one thing that you have on the day that you're born and that will be with you until the day that you die. That's it. That's the one thing that we get is our body. That's it. There's nothing else, guys. There's nothing else that's with you from day one to, to the end. To the end. That's your body. It's worth plotting out you know, how you're going to take care of it. It's worth making a list, and it's worth going through and acting on it. Okay? A is for action. Do it. Do it. You're so worth it. All right? And N, a new normal. For N, new normal, I mean, I think that is amazing. You guys, if you stick with this, if you plot out what you're going to do, 
if you list, okay, you list your grocery list, you make a list of things that you need to do in your day, and you stay on that list, okay, you list out, this is my workout time, this is when I do the laundry, this is what, if you make that list, you will be surprised, your new normal, your new normal, in as little as a month, okay, or even, you know, 21 days, but definitely in a month, you will have a new normal. And don't be surprised if your new normal just shocks you, because right now, it's a little overwhelming. Right now, you might be like, seriously, I'm busy. You want me to sit down and plot out what I'm going to do and then list, you know, all my exercises and list, make a grocery list and do all this, and now you want to take, you know, you want me to take action? I'm already taking action, but yet some days you miss out, okay? And maybe you don't take the action because you're tired and you're over doing certain things. If you guys stick to a list and you stick to your plan, you stick to a plan, guys, that is huge, then I promise you, within a month, you'll have a new normal. And that new normal is going to get you to where you need to be. And you'll see that just by following your plan, taking the time to plot and list things down, following through with your actions, your new normal will save you so much time. It will bring a certain peace to you because you know not only what you need to do, but you're going to be able to feel that success when you go over to your list and you're checking things off. And you know, you know what? I did it. I did it. And then at the end of the day, you can relax a little bit. Your brain's not going, well, did I forget something? Should I do this? Da -da -da? No. You're going to have a new normal. Enjoy that new normal. Okay? I challenge each and every one of you to take this on today. Make a plan. Then get back to me and let me know what that plan is. Let me hold you accountable to that plan. Okay? All right, ladies. Go plan.